What do you think of when you hear the term artificial intelligence? We've all seen the movies growing up. The Terminator, C-3PO from Star Wars, Sonny from iRobot, the 1986 classic Short Circuit, Robocop or even Data from Star Trek. Are we really close to seeing robots driving Harley Davidsons and saying, I'll be back? How much progress have we made in AI and what does the future look like? There are two main categories in artificial intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence, classed as ANI, and artificial general intelligence, classed as AGI. The majority of AI applications in the world today are ANI, artificial narrow intelligence, where there has been lots of progress which is already unlocking incredible value. Most of the examples you see in the films that I've mentioned are actually AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. People assume that there is lots of progress in AGI, but we are still quite far away from matching AGI progress with that of ANI. In order to create full AGI systems, we would need to create neural networks with algorithms that can encode common sense. Before we even get to the levels of a human brain, we would need to generate rat level intelligence and so on to other animals before getting close to human level intelligence. This doesn't mean that we haven't started dabbling in AGI, but nowhere near are we developed as we are in ANI. Neural networks and machines can do specific things well, but to train that same neural network to do multiple things, that becomes a challenge. What you hear today in media and in the news are amazing examples of ANI, artificial narrow intelligence. In these systems, instead of getting these machines or robots to focus on everything that a human can do, we focus on one specific task that it can do really, really well, even better than a human. One famous example of this was in 1997 when IBM's Deep Blue machine quite a large computer, beat Garry Kasparov, the best chess player in the world. The first encounter between the two was in 1996, when Kasparov won. However, the machine was able to relearn, improve and win in the rematch that Kasparov agreed to one year later. Kasparov was under immense pressure in the rematch as the programme had become far smarter and was not behaving as he was expecting it to behave. This journey to get a machine to beat the best human chess player in the world took 12 years. Today, you and I can download a chess program on our laptops that we have no way of beating as a human. In fact, today, there are actually machine versus machine chess competitions running in parallel to human versus human ones. When this happened, people, rather than being super impressed, moved the goalposts and said that it would take an AI system 100 years to be a human at the game Go. In March 2016, Google's AI system AlphaGo made history when it beat world champion Lee Seedol 4-1. There are many other examples of ANI in different industries today. Many stock market trading firms are relying on AI to analyze millions of data points and execute trades at their own will in real time, with an optimal price that mitigates risk and creates opportunities for higher returns. Even in the aviation industry, it is estimated today, because of AI, a plane is now only human steered for seven minutes of a flight. The takeoff and the landing, the rest is on autopilot, controlled by artificial intelligence. The benefit of automated systems are also being used in healthcare to interpret and comprehend complicated medical data. Healthcare professionals are using AI to help them with clinical diagnosis of patients. Sophisticated computer algorithms now have the ability to approximate conclusions without direct human input. These are just a few amazing examples. But what about AGI? Do we have examples of this today? On the 8th of September 2020, I came across an article in the Guardian newspaper with the headline 
a robot wrote this entire article, Are You Scared Yet Human? GPT-3. GPT-3 is the most powerful language model ever. Its predecessor, GPT-2, released in 2019, was already able to generate streams of text in a range of different styles when prompted with an opening sentence. But GPT-3 has 175 billion parameters compared with 1.5 billion that was in GPT-2. That's a development of 173.5 billion parameters within a year. Parameters are values that a neural network tries to optimize during model training. GPT-3 was able to write an essay from scratch. The assignment was to convince us that robots come in peace. This was crazy. You could not tell remotely that this was written by a robot. And it's actually scary that in the near future, kids could use this technology to write near perfect college dissertations for their field of studies. The speed at which AI is being developed today is mainly due to both the data and computational power available. There are lots and lots of artificial narrow intelligence examples and they are already part of our lives in many different areas and industries. Artificial general intelligence is still something that needs to develop further as we are a long way from being able to get a machine to mimic a human brain. There is so much stuff already happening with ANI examples in different industries and you're now seeing examples of basic AGI like GPT-3. But even the OpenAI CEO tweeted about GPT-3 saying that it's overhyped and that AI is going to change the world. And GPT-3 is just a very early glimpse. We still have a lot to figure out. Wow, another amazing episode. Our question this week comes from Satigil who asks, are driverless cars an example of strong AI? Well, strong AI means AGI. And I can tell you that driverless cars, surprisingly enough, are not an example of strong AI or AGI. They are in fact ANI, artificial narrow intelligence. You might be thinking, surely not. A driverless car would have to perform many different tasks at the same time. And you said that ANI is all about performing one task very, very well. And that's correct. Driverless cars are made up of many different ANI systems doing different tasks very well and brought together to mimic human level intelligence. Did you know statistically 4,000 people lose their lives in road crashes every single day? As AI algorithms for self-driving cars get better, this statistic will eventually get closer to zero. Sati, thanks for sending us your question and getting involved. If you want to send us your questions, comments, suggestions or ideas, please email tarv at plaintalks.co.uk. Remember to like, comment and share the episode and click on the bell for notifications when each video is released. Whether it's narrow or general, you now have a great understanding of different types of AI. Plain Talks, episode 4 done. I'll see you all next time.